What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to our very first episode of our Pokemon Emerald walkthrough right here on my Gym Leader Draven channel, and uh, yes, Happy New Year's to every single one of you guys out there in YouTube land, it doesn't matter if you're from the East, West, North, South, it doesn't matter, even the Central, Happy New Year's to every single one of you guys, and what a better way to start off the New Year than a new walkthrough right here in Pokemon Emerald, the 2023 edition, or... Yeah, the 2023 edition sounds good right here. What a what a dramatic ending to Pokemon Crystal, right guys? What a dramatic ending. Okay, so let's go ahead and start up this game before I start explaining some stuff right here. So, we're going to start up this whole game right here with Professor Birch looking at us. He's like, hi, sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Birch. But everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. This is what we call a Pokemon. This world is widely inhabited by creatures known as Pokemon. We humans live as alongside Pokemon at times as friendly playmates and at times as cooperative workmates. And sometimes we band together and battle others like us. But despite our closeness, we don't know everything about a Pokemon. In fact, there are many, many secrets surrounding Pokemon. To unravel Pokemon mysteries, I've been undertaking research. That's what I do. And you are? Hmm. Are you a boy, or are you a girl? Or better yet, are you a Brendan, or are you a May? Well, if you guys can't tell by the sound of the voice right here, yes, I am a man, but we have to play a 10-year-old boy right here. So yes, the name, it's me, it's me, it's GLD. But we're going to be going with uh, Draven right here, because, well, GLD kind of sounds a little weird when you kind of tell, you know, you talk to me like that and all that stuff. So let's go ahead. So it's Draven. Ah, okay. You're a Draven who's moving to my hometown of Little Root. I get it now. Hmm. All right. Are you ready? Your very own, your very own adventure is about to unfold. Take courage and leap into the world of Pokémon where dreams, adventure, and friendships await. Well, I'll be expecting you later. Come see me in my Pokémon lab. Okay. So my question, my question is this: What kind of a bet did I lose? in order to get the trailer of this moving truck. Yeah, what kind of, yeah, how did I lose? To my mom. I guess she doesn't really like me. I don't know, let's find out. Maximum effort. Okay. So here we are in Little Root Town and here's our mama and she's like, Driven, we're here, honey. You must be tiring riding with our things in a moving truck. Well, this is Little Root Town. How do you like it? This is our new home. It has a quaint feel, but it seems to be easy, e e an easy place to live, don't you think? And you get your own room, Draven. Let's go inside. Alrighty, let's see this new room right here. And well, you got Pokemon Movers right here. And our mama is going to be looking at us and she's going to be like, See, Draven, isn't it nice here too? The Movers Pokemon do all the work of moving us in and cleaning up after. This is so convenient. Draven, your room is upstairs. Go check it out, dear. Dad brought you a new clock to mark our move here. Don't forget to set it! Okay, alrighty, so let's go straight to our room and see what this is all about. Look at that, the good old GameCube right here. It's all purple and all that crud. I still got my GameCube here with, uh, you know, the game that I'm still supposed to be playing, you know, Pokemon uh, Coliseum and all that stuff. What kind of color do I have? Oh yeah, I got Nintendo Nintendo inspired ga uh, GameCube. Now, first is first. Go ahead and go into the PC and grab yourself a potion. And uh, well, before we set the alarm clock right here, guys, 
there is something that I need to talk about before we move on ahead. So, you guys have seen it for the last two weeks, Pokemon Fire Red, on how I've been doing things. And I've been getting uh, some good responses, some bad, you know, it is what it is, guys. You know, all I'm trying to do is finish up the, uh, the walkthrough in a timely fashion. So that's exactly what we're going to be doing here in Pokemon Emerald. Any of these battles that, you know, don't seem important, we're still going to battle them, but we're just going to speed it up just a tad bit. That way you guys can see what kind of Pokemon these guys have. Uh, we're going to be capturing a lot of Pokemon, using a lot of Pokemon for our team, because this is Hoenn. This is one of my favorite, like, my one of my favorite games of all time, and <laughs> I just can't decide on one team. I, I have to do many, so that's probably what we're going to be doing here, too. And in the other part, the most important part, we will be trading. As many of you guys found out, I went through YouTube University, not really a university, I went through YouTube and discovered how to trade Pokemon via the Visual Boy Advance, and if you guys don't know what that is, it is the emulator that I'm using to record or to play all these games and all that. So later on, when we need to trade Pokemon, I will be showing you guys in both Pokemon Fire Red and, and Emerald right here on how to trade Pokemon. And, Actually, I probably already taught you in Fire Red. I'm thinking, you know, I'm thinking, uh, I'm thinking too far ahead right there, guys. But I have already taught you how to do it. But I will be teaching you right here in Pokemon Emerald. So that's another cool thing that you're gonna, you're gonna, you guys are gonna be seeing right here. Later down the road, you guys will be seeing a lot more important things. All of this is just to, uh, well, just to have a little bit of fun, do things that we haven't done uh, at all in Pokemon Emerald. If many of you guys already know. I've, this is like my fourth, third, third walkthrough on Pokemon Emerald, I think. Yeah. And why do it again? Because I like to be a perfectionist, guys. That's all it is. Okay? So, sue me. I like being a perfectionist and all that stuff. Anywho, our mom is going to be like, Draven, how do you like your new room? Good, everything's put away neatly. They finished moving everything in downstairs, too. Pokemon movers are so convenient. Oh, you should make sure that everything's all, uh, all there on your desk. Okay, alrighty. Uh, I already got the potion, so let's go right ahead and uh, go downstairs right here. And our mom is like, oh, Draven, Draven, quick, come quickly. Look, it's the Pedalburg Gym. Maybe Dad will be on. We brought you this report from in front of the Pedalburg Gym. Oh, it's over. I think Dad was on, but we missed him. Too bad. Oh yes, one of Dad's uh, friends lives in town. Professor Birch is his name. He lives right next door, so you should go over and introduce yourself. Hmm, maybe I will. Maybe I will. Let's go right ahead and uh, let's go right ahead and meet the old professor right here. This is next door. This is Professor Birch's house. And as we enter, somebody finally notices us and it's like, "Oh, hello!" And you are. Oh, you're Draven, our new next door neighbor. Hi! We have a daughter about the same age as you. Our daughter was excited to making a new friend. Our daughter is upstairs, I think. Hmm, your daughter. Hmm, let's go right ahead and see who this daughter is. And, well, there is a Pokeball right there. And, oh my god, she has the orange... The orange GameCube. Holy crud, okay! <laughs> the orange GameCube. Not bad. I, I hear those are rare. Anywho, there's a Pokeball right here. Let's go ahead and touch this, and, well... May's gonna find us, and she's like, huh? Who, who are you? Oh, you're Draven. So your move was today. Um, I'm May. Glad to meet you. I have this dream of becoming friends with Pokemon all over the world. I, I heard about you, Draven, from my dad, Professor Birch. I was hoping that you would be nice, Draven, and that we could be friends. <laughs> this is silly, isn't it? I have, uh, I've just met you, Draven. <laughs> Oh no, I forgot. I was supposed to go help Dad catch some wild Pokemon. Draven, I'll catch you later. Okay, alrighty. So, after completing that little task right there, we will never find out what that Pokeball, or what's inside that Pokeball. And now, we have to see where Professor Birch is at. Obviously, he is not in his, uh, he's not in his, uh, he's not in his lab and all that stuff. So, you go right here. And you got this young little girl right here saying, um, hi, there are scary Pokemon outside. I could hear their cries. I want to go see what's going on, but I don't have any Pokemon. Can you see what's going, what's happening for me? Okay, let's go right ahead and see what's going on. <laughs> Help me! Uh-oh. And here is Professor Birch getting attacked by a zigzagoon that is neither zigging or zagging. 
And he's like, hello, you over there, please help. In my bag, there's a Pokeball. Hmm. Yeah. I'm gonna walk away from this situation because, uh, oh. No, oh, we can't go. Where are you going? Don't leave me like this. Yeah, okay, alrighty. So I guess we have to become the hero again. Now, something funny happened uh, early on. I found this on Facebook, and yes, I still have Facebook, guys. Uh, take a look at this picture right here. Yeah, that's... Yeah, we want to do this. We literally want to do this to Professor Birch, but we can't. So, we have to be the hero. Let's go right ahead and see what kind of Pokemon he has. So, as you guys can see, he has three starter Pokemon from the Hoenn region. Starting with the Wood Gecko Pokemon, Trico. Then you got the Chick Pokemon, Torchic. And then the... Well, the, the Mudfish Pokemon, Mudkip. Now, if you guys remember... Two, three, four... Five? Two, three, four, five? Maybe five years ago now. Damn. Okay, it's gonna be five years ago. I came in with a Pokemon Emerald walkthrough. And I chose Mudkip. The Mudfish Pokemon. Turns out to be a very, very good Pokemon. But this time, I want to change it up. And I want to do things differently. I know that many of you guys were thinking, hey, use Torchic. You know, you never use this Pokemon. Well, I'm going to give you guys a heads up right here. I am not going to use Torchic right here in this walkthrough, but it will be used in Pokemon Alpha Sapphire. I am still planning on playing that game. So, the only option we have left is the Wood Gecko Pokemon, Trico. So let's go right ahead and choose this guy right here. Alrighty. Bring it on. Here's the Zigzagoon that can neither zig or zag. And here comes Trico. Alrighty. So, as you guys can see, has some pretty basic attacks right now. Let's go with the pound attack. I wanted to be a little strategic right there, but yeah, it wasn't gonna it wasn't gonna happen right there. So here we go. Pound attack yet again. And oh my god, that tackle attack will hurt us. And there goes another pound attack for the win. And Trico wins. Yes, sir. Alrighty. Professor Birch is like, whew! I was in a tall grass studying wild Pokemon when I was jumped! You saved me, thanks a lot! Oh! Hi, you're Draven? This is uh, not the place to chat, so come to my Pokemon lab later, okay? And later has happened. Well, here is Professor Birch, and he's gonna be like, So, Draven, I've heard so much about you from your father. I've heard that you don't have your own Pokemon yet, but yet you battled earlier with and pulled it off with a plum. Again, I don't know what that word means. A plum. And there it is. There's the description right there, guys. I That way, you learn something. Just like I'm learning. Leave me alone, guys. Anywho, I guess you have uh, your father's blood in your veins after all. Ah, yes. As a thanks of rescu for rescuing me, I'd like you to have that Pokemon you used earlier. So there it is, guys. Throwing out that peace sign. The initial peace sign. We get ourselves a Trico. And yes, we are going to nickname this Pokemon right here. If you guys don't remember, we did start off with a Trico in Pokemon Omega Ruby. And we named it after one of our, well, not one of our favorite characters, but a character in one of our favorite shows, the Ronin Warriors. So, we're gonna do it right here. Say hello to Sage of the Halo right here, guys, from the Ronin Warriors. Go ahead and watch that show. It's pretty awesome. If you work at Pokemon to gain experience, I think you'll make an extremely good trainer. My kid May is also studying Pokemon while helping me out. Draven, don't you think it might be a good idea to go see May? Of course. I've seen her before. I've seen her again. Great. May should be happy too. Get May to teach you what it means to be a trainer. Okay. So, we gotta go see May. And that's exactly what we're gonna be doing right here. So, let's step outside and, uh, well... Let's see. First is first. Let's go ahead and take a look at our newest Pokemon. Sage of the Halo, Trico. And there we go. Now, in Generation 3, guys, two new things got added in for the Pokemon. There is the ability and the nature. As you guys can see, Overgrow, it ups the grass moves in a pinch. And, you know, o abilities like Overgrow is... You know, as a starter, it's a starter Pokemon's uh, bread and butter right there. You won't get any kind of other ability if you probably breed, I believe. Now, the brave nature right here, it actually dictates what stats go up and what stats go down. And since we have the brave nature, 
our increased stat will be the attack, while our decreased stat will be speed, which, yeah, that kind of stinks because, well, this Pokemon is supposed to be the speedy Pokemon out of the bunch. Now, since we are playing in the Pokemon Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald uh, versions right here, it also has these two things, its favorite flavor and its dislike flavor, and that all depends on its uh, berry cubes and all that stuff. Whatever berry cube it has, it will increase its, uh, you know, its, its beauty nature, or not its beauty nature, but its beauty, smartness, and all that stuff. And for a Pokemon that is brave, its favorite flavor is spicy, while its dislike flavor is sweet. So, yeah, that's kind of a, it's kind of a messed up deal right there. So let's go right in and take a look at our Pokemon. Look at that. Its stats are, you know, its stats are pretty evened out right now. Has two good new moves, and as you guys can see, it also has its tough and cool natures right there, which, you know, if you want to do Pokemon contests, you should probably have a Pokemon specified for those contests. Now, we're going to be going up to Route what? Route 101 right here. And, well, just like in Pokemon Fire Red, we are going to be speeding up a few battles here and there later on. Right now, we're just going to be doing the basics because, well, we're starting off with our, our walk right here. So, as you guys can see, Sage is going up against a Poochiana. You know, the Pokemon it should have taken taken on uh, if it was Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire. And, well, look at that. Poochiana has been defeated. Okay. Alrighty. More experience points. Let's go right ahead and move on forward right here. And here we are in the first town, Oldale Town. And if you talk to this gentleman right here... He's one that works at the Pokemart, and he's like, can I get you to come with me? Okay, what is it? And this is a Pokemart. Just look at the blue roof. We sell a variety of goods, including Pokeballs for catching Pokemon. Here, I'd like you to have this as a promotional item. And there you go. We got ourselves a potion, a free free potion right here. A potion can be used anytime, so it's even more useful than the Pokemon Center in certain situations. That is true. Okay, so there really isn't anything that you can actually see right here, except uh, you can't go through this route because this guy right here is, uh, I guess he's, uh, what was it called? Um, he's drawing up some, some prints that he thinks is a rare Pokemon. Just wait for it. Wait for it when you get done and all that stuff. And we're going to be going into Route 103. And, well, let's go ahead and battle another Pokemon right here. And, well, here is a Pokemon that could be good or bad for us, and that is Wingle. It is both a water and flying type Pokemon, so, yeah, just, uh, you know, just be, just be thankful that it's at level 3 and doesn't know any kind of flying type attacks, only water attacks right here. And, you know, it could be a useful Pokemon if you want to take on the very first gym leader like that. And, well, we're going to be going with uh, a slow battle right here not very effective here we go pound attack yeah this is gonna take a while guys I know and here we go again pound attack for the win that's how you do it alrighty and just like that we get to level six and we learn absorb it's a very good move right there and well let's go right ahead and find May there she is how you get oh, oh god you know what? In this situation, I probably should do use a speed button. So let's go ahead. There we go. Absorb attack. Absorb. Gain our points. And there we go. We have defeated another Pokemon. So that's exactly what's going to happen, guys. And then, you know, there might be a lot of edits and all that crud. So let's go ahead and talk to May. And she's like, let's see. The Pokemon found in Route 103 include... Oh, hi, Draven. Oh, I see. My dad gave you a Pokemon as a gift. Since we're here, let's have a quick battle. I'll give you a taste of what being a trainer is like. Oh, okay. Alrighty, so here we go. Our first official battle in the Hoenn region. It is up against Pokemon trainer May. And she will be coming out with a Torchic. Now, this is a little heartbreaking for me because I kind of wanted to use a Torchic at the very beginning, guys. I really did. And I, th I, I went against it mainly because... I guess, uh, I guess Trico doesn't get a lot of love going into Pokemon Emerald and all that stuff. Or in Ruby and Sapphire. It really doesn't. And, uh, I wanted to try out a, a brand new team. You guys have seen the usuals, like Gaia, um, 
hell. Torchic, uh, of course, Torchic is what is another Pokemon that is a usual Pokemon for me. What else? Auron. Yeah, these are some usual Pokemon I like to go through, it's, it, including Mainatric. So, in this version right here, you guys are going to be seeing some brand new Pokemon, some of the usuals, but, just like in Fire Red, we're going to be using a lot of Pokemon, and then we're going to settle on one team. Now, after defeating Mei, she's going to be like, I think I know why my dad has an eye out for you. I mean, you just got that Pokemon, but it already likes you. You might be able to befriend any kind of Pokemon easily. Well, it's time to head back to the lab. Okay. So that's exactly what I'm going to do, guys. I'm going to fast forward going to the lab. In the meantime, I'm probably going to be battling a few trainers, or not a few trainers, but a few Pokemon along the way. So I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, guys, so here we are in Little Root Town after training to level 10 and all that crud. And we're going to go to the professor's lab. And once you defeat May, you get to talk to Professor Birch yet again. He's like, oh, hi, Draven. I heard you beat May on your first try. That's excellent. May has been helping me on my research for a long time. May has been an ex or has an extensive history as a trainer already. Here, Draven, I ordered this for my research, but I think you should have this Pokedex. And there it is, guys. We grab ourselves a Pokedex. Okay, so the Pokedex is a high-tech tool that automatically records a Pokemon uh, or any Pokemon you meet or catch. My kid May goes everywhere with it. Whenever my kid catches a rare Pokemon and records its data in the Pokedex. Why, May looks for me, or looks for me while I'm out, doing field work and shows me. Oh wow, Draven, you got a Pokedex too? That's great, just like me, I've got something for you too. And look at that, five Pokeballs. It's always five Pokeballs, guys. It's fun if you get a lot of Pokemon. I'm going to uh, look all over the place, or I'll look all over the place because I want different Pokemon. If I find any cute Pokemon, I'll catch them with my Pokeballs. Hmm. You don't say. Now, let's go ahead and finish off this uh, this episode with one more thing. And it's a very, very useful thing. Because it, it was probably one of the greatest things that, you know, Nintendo could have done. And that is this. Wait, Draven. Draven, Draven, did you introduce yourself to Professor Birch? Oh, what an adorable Pokemon. You got it from Pro 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 Professor Birch. How oh, nice. Too excited, guys. Very excited. <laughs> Your father's, you're your father's child, all right. You look good together with that Pokemon. Here, honey, if you're going out on an adventure, wear these running shoes. They'll put a zip in your step. Bam. We got ourselves the running shoes. And uh, yes, this was first introduced in Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire. And trust me, when I first found out about this, it, it, yeah, it sped up a lot of things. Now, just press the B button while wearing these running shoes and run extra fast and slip uh, or slip on these running shoes and race in the great outdoors to think you have your very own pokemon now your your father will be overjoyed but please be careful if anything happens you can come home go on go get them honey all righty whatever you say mama okay so that is pretty much it for this episode guys i cannot wait to continue this walkthrough there there's going to be a lot of stuff that we're going to be doing right here. And the most important part, guys, you will still continue to see trades right here onto Pokemon Emerald. I do have one Pokemon in mind that I do want to trade for after the second gym badge. So just keep an eye out for that, guys. Uh, it's a very, very, um, well, it's a Pokemon that I've always wanted to use on a team for quite some time. And, you know, it actually helped me out right here. Other than that, guys... Stay tuned, another episode of Pokemon Emerald will be coming out. Other than that, Happy New Year's, guys. Hope everything is well out there, and uh, yeah, I'll be back for another episode of our Pokemon Emerald walkthrough. See you guys.